Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this question is for Mr. Watsman and Dr. Kohler. Um, when I visited NICO Minerals in my district, which is one of the few mines in the world that produces wallastonite, a mineral with wide commercial use for ceramics, bricks, clutches, and plastics, it was clear to me that we need to do more to support the workers that help to keep our nation's global competitive edge. What can be done, in your opinion, to strike that intelligent balance between protecting these workers and making sure that we do not curb further economic growth by stifling, stifling these companies with litigious regulations? And I'll start with you, Mr. Watsman. Well, I think it goes back to what we've touched upon on so many occasions here, and that's creating a cooperative environment where we in the agency sit down and address problems rather than going to our, our, our respective corners. Um, Mining is a very tough business, and it's a very challenging business today. Uh, I look at the coal industry, where the number of mines since 2011 has dropped by 18 percent. Uh, the number of mines in this country has dropped overall in that same period by 4 percent. Yet MSHA is getting more resources and is, in, and is refusing to change the way they conduct their business. I think we have to all honestly ask ourselves the question, is the old model working. You know, we've been under the Mine Act for 46 years and we've made phenomenal progress as an industry working with our workforce, working with regulators, but after 46 years of one model, shouldn't we be better than we already are? And that's really what drove us to core safety, to look outside the box, to look for a different model that isn't enforcement oriented, but is proactive rather than reactive, identifying risks at the outset and engineering those to the degree you can out of the work environment to better protect our workers. Dr. Kohler. Yeah, I, I would say two things. First of all, I think that the sitting down and talking to partnership is critical. And the toughest problems we faced in mine safety and health in the past 15 years were best solved when industry, organized labor, uh, MSHA, NIOSH, manufacturers all came together, rolled up their sleeves and tried to solve the problem. And I think we have to have that kind of partnership. Secondly, I, I fully support this idea of occupational or uh, health and safety management systems, whether we call it core safety, which the NMA has rolled out, or, or implementations of VPP. I understand that there are good and bad parts, there are good and bad actors. It might be appropriate for a, an, an august body like the National Academies. To, to actually resolve that question and provide guidance on how we can implement that fully. My next question is for Mr. Elliott. Following up on concerns for maintaining worker safety, one mine safety group in my district raised concerns that workers have become increasingly concerned with being held personally liable for accidental noncompliance. And it's my understanding, and you've shared today, that over the last few years, the number of citations given at mines has increased greatly. How do we ensure worker safety and maintain an appropriate oversight system while also reforming the current challenges with this burdensome citation policy? That's a heck of a question. If I could do that, I'd probably be in Congress. But really, when we look at the circumstances around trying to look for people to come in this industry, it is tough today. It's, it's hot, it's cold, it's dirty, it's muddy. All those things are involved with it. And like Mr. Watsman said about the, the approach of the agency from maybe many, many years ago when the Mine Act first took effect, that there was methods that were successful at that time. But I think today we're in the 21st century and we need to get greater efficiency to reach the root issues that are affecting the mining environment. Generations change. My generation is slowly but surely leaving the industry. Younger people are coming in that are more dynamic and more concerned about their safety. So I think the agency has to look at ways to change, to meet the changing demographics of mining. Thank you very much. I yield back.